Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Brown, and today I'm doing my first makeup tutorial. I hope y'all like it. I hope I don't come out looking a hot mess. So, um, I will see you guys after I shave this off and get myself together, and see you then. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, as you see, clean face. You know, every drag queen has to have on her Harriet Tubman, Aunt Jemima slash Snatch, you know, to pull that face back. So, uh, what you do first is put on a little primer. I'm using a Kissable Lips Primer where I work at. And you just put it on, get a good surface. You don't want to be ashy. But come down on that neck. Mmm. Okay, so now, I was not going to glue my brows down, but I might as well. And what I use, a lot of people use, you know, let's say glue, a glue stick. I'm using spirit gum. Now, one time, y'all be careful. It got on my damn eyes and my contacts. I thought I was going to have cataracts, honey. So, what we is going to do, or what I is going to do, ill, I'm going to start from back here because I want to use a little of my natural brow. So, starting here, and you want to just kind of just brush it in. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now is getting my spatula. Honey, you can get a metal one. I'm cheap, girl. This is plastic. I'm going to tell y'all one thing about me. I'm a cheap queen. You know, a lot of girls who make these makeup tutorial videos are calling out names, Mac, Smashbox, whatever. That's fine and dandy. But, honey, if you're on a budget like me, girl, you can use some Dollar General makeup, some Family Dollar makeup, some LA Colors, girl, and make it look fabulous. It's how you apply it, baby. So what I'm going to do is use my spatula. And I want to like smooth this up. Now, which gonna serve you now? Mother glitter riding came to get down. Yes, I'm dressed in the couture. Giving you fever straight from the door. Ain't nobody fresher, ain't nobody cleaner. Can't nobody rock this floor any meaner, meaner. Straight from the runway fever. She's by Alexander McQueen. Now. You gotta be flashy. You gotta be demure. Oh, girl. You got she male, honey. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, okay, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay, you have to get it in good, girl. Get it in good. Okay, you see how it's laid? Now, what I do, you can use glue, once again, a glue stick. I get a little bit of this, like, eyebrow wax. Get a little bit out. This. And then you want to kind of ball it. Ball it up in a little ball, like so. And you just want to put it back here where you started. And, you know, it might not go on perfect, but just get as perfect as you can. Just smooth it in to the brow. Hey, so when you are done, your brow should look something like this. I know it looks like nothing right now, but anyway, so the next step you want to do is get your powder. Pressed powder, loose powder. I'm using actually Iman. Um, and you want to go over. Miss, which gonna serve you now? Mother glitter riding came to get down. Yes, I'm dressed in the couture. Giving you fever straight from the door. Ain't nobody fresh yet. Do I look sick now, y'all? <laughs> and then you want to get your foundation, which now I'm using Black Opal. Use whatever you want to use. You know, whatever works for you. And, I mean, since we are men trying to be women, pound it on. I'm so tired of y'all beginning drag queens thinking y'all fish. And can put on a little bit of cover girl and think y'all painted. Girl, get out of here. <laughs> honey, you have to put it on, honey. You have to pound it on, girl. Mm -hmm. You know, all us all queens have our own little faces that we do when we're getting ready. We a mess. Miss, which gonna serve you now? Mother glitter riding came to get down. Yes, I'm dressed in the couture. Giving you Then, I have me a big old girl, once again, Harriet Tubman. Makeup sponge, child, big and ignorant, and you just want to blend. You know what I forgot to do? Sorry, guys. Go over your brows with the makeup cream. I'm sorry. Fever straight from the door. Ain't nobody fresher, ain't nobody cleaner. Can't nobody rock this floor any meaner, meaner. Straight from the runway. Okay, so once you get all that blended, me, I do another layer, and I like to go. I like to be a little bit lighter. 
No, dark skin people. I have nothing against dark skins. I just want to be a little bit lighter. You know, after all this drag, you want it to pop a little more. So I go over on top of it with a lighter foundation. Now, which gonna serve you now? But a glitter riding came to get down. Yes, I'm dressed in over couture. Okay, so guys, when you have on your other coat of foundation, if you choose to do that, this is how you will probably look. A little bit lighter, as you see, it changed my whole complexion. And um, I kind of break steps. Like, I don't go by certain steps. Every now and then I might do my eye first or I might do my contour first. But right now I'm going to put on, like, my um, primer. And I'm using just a, once again, a primer where I work at from Kissable Lips. And you just, you know, put on your lip. And the point of the primer is to make colors last longer, make them pop more. So that's why you want to do that. Now, if you're cheap, you could just use your concealer. Because, honey, I'm cheap, too. Be flashy, gotta be demanding. Even if you look a fool, you're still grabbing all the attention. Don't nobody mention you. If you're looking all dry, girl, this is what you do. You be up in this club. Can't nobody out there tell you none. Ladies, drop that shit like you're the sickest bitch in this room. Kind of, you kind of don't want, want to just keep it in your lid area. You don't want to bring it all up to your brows. And as you see, it kind of makes you look like you're already painted, like you're already done. Uh, we know we ain't done, honey. A drag queen needs 10 coats of powder. Not the kind you snort. So I'll be right back and I will show y'all how I get into my contouring. Okay, so sometimes, you know, I put on my liquid contours first and stuff and then I put my powder on top. Today I'm going to try putting my powder on top first to set this cream because you don't want to be, because I have very oily skin and I don't want to look like I've been in the kitchen frying chicken all day. So. I'm actually using a translucent powder. Um, it still keeps the color you want of your skin, you know, and um, gives you what you want. So let's kind of go over. Now, which gonna serve you now? But a glitter riding came to get down. Yes, I'm dressed in the couture, giving you. You, you don't want to do a, do a whole lot because then your makeup will start to crack, and we all know crack is cheap. Then you can kind of get your brush. Kind of just blend it in a little more. Take off any excess loose powder that's floating around. Okay, so what I'm doing now is actually putting a darker cream. Like you could just you can just do powder, but this is like kind of the new way of painting. Like putting on a cream contour first. And you want to start from your hairline. Some of us have receding hairlines, but start wherever you grow at. And you can kind of see my contour already, but kind of want to start from your hairline. Come right by the bone. You can feel the bone. Be flashy, gotta be demanding. Even if you look a fool, you're still grabbing all the attention. Don't nobody mention you. If you're looking all dry, girl, this is what you do. You up in this club. Can't nobody out there tell you none. Ladies, drop that shit like you. the sickest bitch in this room. Feel your beat. Okay, and you can come underneath here. This kind of slims your face. If you have a round face or if you just want more of that, you know, wham, you know, like a cat and got to your face and just pulled it back. Be flashy, gotta be demanding. Even if you look a fool, you're still grabbing all the attention. Don't nobody mention you. If you're looking all dry, girl, this is what you do. You be up in this club. Can't nobody out there tell you. And then you want to go up here to your temple. Now, which gonna serve you now? But a glitter riding king. Then you can get you a smaller brush. Whatever you know. I'm not naming I'm not naming names of brushes because we all have different different brushes. Whatever works for you. And you can come down your nose. So once you have your Michael Jackson, Reeby Jackson, centipede nose going on, you want to blend everything in the same direction you put it on, blend. So, while I'm blending, so y'all know I try to get on RuPaul's Drag Race, right? RuPaul does not like me. I don't know what it is. I mean, does she want to be the only tall Glamazon? Still love you, Ru. <laughs> so, okay, got this blended, and I'm going to show y'all how you come back and put in your highlights. Okay, so, once you have your 
contour, your notch for the gods, honey, then you want to, you know, do your little highlight. And I like to put on the concealer first and then put my highlight on top of the concealer because it pops more. So get your little cream concealer, whatever you use. It's right here with Laura Geller. Um, I use whatever I can find, honestly. I'm going to use my finger because I don't want it to crack, you know, crack under pressure. And you want to just blend it. think you're that kind of advanced, you can go ahead and do that, but if you're still a beginner, then you might want to just use your powder. Yeah. Just saying. Okay, so once you have all your creams on, then you want to get your powders. So I'm using a darker contour to, for this to pop out a little more. Same direction. Brush it back to your hairline. Do your little face. Mm -hmm. And get it in there. Okay. Then you want to get you a highlighting powder. Put a little on your brush. Come underneath your eye. Hush, see what you made me do. Face, mascara, erase. I wanna look good for you. Okay, so I'm skipping process again. I'm actually going to come to my brows real quick. Hair. Don't care. I always comb my hair. Make. Up. Make. Up. Pink. Blue. I want to make it good for you. So get your concealer or foundation. Come underneath. And then you want to blend once again. Hair. Okay. So guys, I'm back. And um, brows are done, as you see. And now I'm about to do some shadow. Not nothing too major, but what I'm going to do is start with my lid. And this way, you know, you can... Do your face first, but I'm going to try to finish my eyes, and that way if any ass-ass shadow, shadow falls, my highlight right here will catch it, and I can just brush it off. Okay, so putting a little bit of a highlight pigmented shadow underneath my eye. You can use a card if you want to cheat and start out from here. You can kind of see where your crease is. So. Okay. so, I'm going to put a little highlight powder underneath my brow bone to make it pop a little more. Line your eye. Hair. Don't care. I always comb my hair. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Right now, I'm actually doing my lashes. Um, what I'm doing, well, I already got glue on my lash, so that way it sits for a little minute, gets a little bit tacky, it sticks better. But I'm going to put on my mascara first. This brush is big and ignorant, honey. Girl, it's so big, girl. I'm going to put my eyeball out. But you know, the bigger the better. I promise you, I'll get better. Right now, I'm recording my video from an EBT food stamp phone. 
These are doubled up here, double lashes. Whatever numbers you get, double them, make them look a little bit thicker. See, a lot of drag queens think that you need long, ignorant lashes to look more like a female. That's not true. As long as you have your eyeshadow applied right, lashes applied right, smaller, less, less is more at times. So, what I'm doing now is I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. Like you can see up here under my highlight, I just put a little bit more highlight up over here. You can actually see where you can what color at. Don't y'all hate makeup artists when you're doing your job and a lady comes in, she's like, I want to look natural. Girl, with a wear makeup. Girl. Or they want lashes and they say, I want natural lashes. Put on some mascara. So, put a little red on here. Okay, contour can be tricky. It really can. But I'm going, I don't want a big old clown cheeks, but you want to smile. And get the apple and kind of just bring it back and I even like to go up in here with whatever color you use whether it's pink, red, orange. Uh, muffins, they want to be happy. And then what I like to do also is kind of go back over in okay, case you went over your dark, get your dark. a lighter bronzer color and go at the tip of my nose to make it look like Rudolph the gay deer reindeer I know that wasn't funny y'all but just, I'm gonna come back this video has been too long already I'm having my lip color I'm gonna have on everything blended my wig on giving y'all a little bit of a red vixen queen and you will see Nina Bonina banana 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 brown bye Hey y'all, it's Nina Bonina Brown. Hey y'all, it's me, Nina Bonina Brown, and this is my fabulous makeover, as you've seen what I was doing. It's not hard, something simple, red vixen, very black Ariel mermaid, very Jessica Rabbit, and um, I hope you guys like it. Now, I want to introduce y'all to my twin sister, Shaquifa McFrugal. Let me see. Say hi, Shaquifa McFrugal. Aren't we gorgeous? <laughs> so, see you guys at the next video. Uh, muffins, they want to be happy. Uh-uh, 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 uh-u